How's it? How's it, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Sanctum Gamer here, and we are once again in Coral Reaches, about to begin the development on this region that we've been working on for quite a while now. In the last video, we set up quite a bit of the infrastructure around here, connecting up a lot of the the main avenue that's going to run through the city, and we also set out this sort of shaped out area of the the city over here. Now the plan is that I'll probably have a few more keys probably around here. I'm going to change the look of this area around this area with this being the downtown core and then going outwards in this space where we start going into the medium to low density areas. We will have beaches. The plan is even islands like this. I have some plants that I'll probably reshape this island and build some kind of a touristy type vibe with beaches and everything here and i may just continue that all the way along the plan is to have a lot of beaches along the side so yeah that is the plan we built this interchange over here which is the main connection between that part of the world and this area but what i wanted to do was to just make this interchange look a little bit more funky than it currently does so i wanted a few more off ramps running off of places like right now i don't even have a connection coming from this side going into that area i only realized that after i had built every single thing so i need to work out how i'm going to connect things up over here either via this way or maybe via this side i'm not 100 percent sure yet it's something that i need to figure out so for now what I want to do is I want to kick off today with a few modifications to this inter interchange and then once that is done we will kick into gear with the development of the, the region as a whole or well the city rather. Ah, Let's build this, let's, let's modify this interchange. Alrighty, so we've connected a couple of things up. I've firstly created a way over here to get off and come back onto the side. And I've also figured that I'm gonna do some development around here. So I just added this road as a connection just for the fun of it. We'll see what comes out of that. Now, I've also managed to get this area connected up in this direction and also connected up in that direction. I actually didn't realize that you couldn't get from this area over there and actually no i actually did it via that way i completely forgot but at least now we have an alternative because this area is also going to be quite developed so it's nice to have another way to get onto this space i suspect that the traffic here might be quite hectic and so it might be a good idea to put a roundabout right here that's what i'm thinking maybe that's a little too big should we keep it a small one so that we have it flowing nicely. I will keep an eye on it, but I think that actually looks quite nice. I like the way that looks. What happens if I upgrade, if I upgrade this to a four lane, how does that look? Oh, that even looks better. Then you've got a dedicated lane. Then you've got a dedicated lane that turns in that direction. And, oh yeah, no, I like that very much. I think I'll go ahead even and expand this a little bit more in fact let's give this i think that goes a little bit too far so maybe let's end it over here and then we can upgrade this portion to that 
and just for the sake of looking good at least i think this will look good is i give this an extra lane and why not Alrighty, i love the way this these, these tiny little roundabouts look and i see already there are cars starting to use it using it as a way of getting into this area and then this road kind of cuts off and we will do some development here maybe even cross the railway and connect up over there but yes there we go we've got everything going i think i think it's looking good over here one of the things that i'm going to do is i'm going to continue this sort of side roads that run along the main highway all the way along and using this as the way to connect in and out of all the various areas and then we just have a merge point or two onto the main the main what's this thing highway cutting through the region so this sort of complexity i am going to continue carrying it out either up to here and then sort of end it off over there but then we'll have a similar complexity around here and around and around this area i think it will be a nice a different way of building the highway infrastructure through all of this area as opposed to it being always you know a major intersection similar to this so yeah that's the plan we will be building it as we need as we go along so everything i think is coming together nicely i think it's time for me to turn my attention now to the city and i think it's time to kick off development now so before we kick it off I was thinking that I could modify the space just a little bit so that I put one of the unique buildings that I want to, to place maybe somewhere around here. Just as a way of it sticking out into the land and giving this place a sort of defining look, if we should call it that. So I was looking at, where is it? This building, the Nasinuela for it to set maybe right here. And I think that would be quite a nice, a nice look as people getting up onto that area will get some nice, beautiful views. So let me shape this area up quickly. Let me plunk this down and then let's see what that looks like. Okay, I think we've got a nice defining feature here for our skyline. I think that looks pretty decent. I'm considering probably at some point deleting all these trees and putting maybe development more than anything else. I just want to see what this looks like if we convert these into their full scale trees. And I don't think it's too bad. Don't think that's too bad at all. I'm happy with that. I think with that, we're good. We can start developing.
All right, let's take stock of where we are at because we've built quite a bit. This would be probably considered like a little district in the city that we are building. So I am definitely achieving the density that I want to achieve. I am packing buildings together like it's nobody's business. And I'm trying to keep the greenery to a, I suppose, a minimum. Most of the green that we, we have is around the, uh, the buildings. But from this point on, in my mind, we're going to start moving out towards the outskirts. And that's why I've started putting small amounts of green here. But as we come back into this space, we're going to dance it up and give it a lot more. And I must say, building all of this with mods is so much better because I can have things like this where, you know, you can mix up small buildings and big buildings and everything just looks super, super dense, super, super compact. I love it. I can have like roundabouts right dead ending right here with like fencing and all kinds of stuff. So I'm really loving what I can do now with mods. I think it is super awesome and so far so good. The only thing I'm realizing is that a lot of the traffic is coming down this path. So definitely in the next video or two, we'll probably be building and extending this area out and converting this into a proper interchange of some sort and having connections in all kinds of weird and funky ways but as of now i think everything is looking good i want to keep expanding i'm hoping that i can expand out into this area in this video but i don't know what tomorrow is going to hold but yeah this is looking it's looking quite all right we, we're going to start with height now right so as we we approach this place, this area, I'm expecting to sort of send it up in, in that sort of direction. But nothing too crazy, no like super, super tall skyscrapers, but definitely going to get quite a bit of height in this area as we, we push to get as much density as we can. Alrighty, everybody, it's looking good.
Alrighty, we've built out this area and I just wanted to take a look at this space because I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to be happy with the height of all of this area. And as I look at it, just as I'm, I, I suspected, I think this is way too high for the space. I want to bring it actually down a little bit. I want to keep this area now mid to sort of the mid low density. So these type of buildings. So when I look at it, this is this is quite a big building. I want to just modify this area quickly. I think maybe one of these will do. So we get that over here and then these one one cell apartments which i think look very very good the way you can combine these just look really really nice and then i'm gonna get rid of this super big building it is quite large probably an office building would be best to fit in this spot but yes we've got we've got these ones which i quite like i wonder if there isn't a slightly taller one maybe you can do the trick I think we can get rid of these and convert this rather to a 3x4 residential. So if we can get a 3x4 residential, I think we can get something that is sort of mid-height between them. Yeah, like that. So I don't want to undo all the stuff I've done here in the back. I think that kind of works out. And then definitely want to get rid of this one. When I look at it, it's, it's way too big. Maybe even get rid of, of some of these areas. What is this? I think this is a network item, right? No, it's not. It's one of those. We get rid of that. And then we can plonk down maybe two of these over here. So I think that is well lined up over there. The height is fairly decent. And let's turn that back on and yeah we get some height with us so we can put that over there and let's get rid of these because i don't think these are going to these are going to stay let's grab some of these old school items and stick them down over on this side and then we'll just mix it all up right in the end with something also slightly different and then we can swing all the way back here where we can put down. I think I'll keep I'll keep these to the North American ones. And then we can have a by four, which can then stick into these areas. All right. And then I think that height is a lot better. I do think though now at this point when I look at it, this building now does not at all fit in which... It's so funny how that works. You think you've got the right thing and then you place everything else around it and you realize, nope, it doesn't work. So maybe I, I just keep I just keep all of these down to a smallish size. I think these, these will work. Let's mix you up a little bit. And let's just close it all off with these two European style buildings. And then I think that height is a little bit better. I'm, I'm happier with that. I'm not entirely convinced about this one. And so now you are going to go bye bye. And we will replace you with. I've got these are fairly tall, tall ish. But I don't think that's what I want. Maybe continue this, these row houses over here. And then I think that that sort of comes out very very nicely and then what i'll do is i just grab a couple of trees from here and oh, those are too big maybe we can just put one or two trees sort of on the on the sidewalk to give this place just that little bit of extra life and then in and around this place i mean you know what let's just let's just close off this area with a little bit of detailing Alright, I think that's that. I think that height is, is definitely better. So now that we have all of this sorted, what I want to do is I want to modify this place a little bit. So I quite like this sort of roundish 
road over here and I want to try and continue that same theme around here. So what I want to do is that I want to, let me just pause that. Let's get rid of this road. And I see that the ship route is quite close to this place. So I must keep that in mind. But I think with what I want to do, if we just grab a little bit of land and bring this out, then I should, in fact, let me just send it all the way out to where the route is because it will mark it out nicely for me. Then what I'll do is that I'll just grab this road and I'm going to grab this one. We're going to move it out maybe a little bit straight, then bend it over a little bit. And then I want to sort of end it off. I think maybe that's a little too, too shallow. So I think I want it to just come out just a little bit more. And then we'll close it all off, sort of like so. And I think I'm going to continue this road in that direction. But from this point on, I'll end the key and then sort of detail out this place, make it a little bit rough. But around this side, we will convert this into a key, this also into a key, into a key, into a key. And then let's just clean up the land around the road. All right. So that continues at least the sort of wavy kind of look. And with the ships coming in and out of the space, I am very likely going to create a few more things around here to give this place just a little bit of extra life. And I think with that, that looks a lot... Oh, no. This is not straight. Jesus, I messed that up. Let me fix that quickly. And it's fixed. Okay. So, I think that looks, that looks better. I think that is straighter now. Great. So, that's cool. I think the... The, the, the two areas balance out nicely and I might probably end up doing a couple more things where I bring all kinds of weird and funky stuff in. So with that done, let us get our ship routes in so we can start getting the international traffic in. So I'm going to connect up this side, I think. Let's connect up to this area and back come on there we go back here again so we've got that and then i want to connect this area up with basically these four that we currently have in place or these three and then when we build that town we'll connect that up as well so we'll use the second terminal from here we will connect it up to springs and then from springs we'll go all the way to this town doesn't have a name yet that's a live stream town then we'll come back in, connect it over to Shepherd over here, and then we'll close that entire route off. All right. So then with that, we should now have boats running from this town all the way to there. So it's connected like so. It's quite a long route if you want to go here, you want to go by boat because you have to go through all of the towns. But I think it's fine for now. That's going to, going to work perfectly fine all right so with that done let's get an international train line going that will start on this side i'll connect it up to our new city over here i think that stop should be fine and then connect it all the way up to shepherd over here i think over there and then from Shepherd, we go out to the outside world. And then we should then be able to come back, connect it up to that stop. And hopefully everything works out well and we are able to connect it up to our city. Yay, over there. And then we close it all off to complete the route. Cool. So with that, we now have international train that runs between the city which will get a name at some point and shepherd and then once we build up all of these areas i'm going to have a local line that is going to connect up all of the stations and i will see whether i'll connect up a nice long local line from 
all of these areas through Shepherd and then out to the city or the town that we'll be building all the way over there. All right, everybody, I think we are we are good with everything where we are at. As usual, I just have a couple of dead trees that I am not a fan of. So let me just upgrade these quickly. All right, that is fine. I will upgrade the of the rest of camera. I'm worried the game will crash on me. Uh, but okay, everybody, I think this is it for today. We've started the city. We've got the bare bones. We've got a couple of buildings in. There isn't a lot of services in place yet. I just put down a fire station over here just to make sure nothing burns down. I think in the next video, we're going to start getting a whole lot more services like the university especially something that i want to get down as soon as possible so that we can start supplying the industry with high skilled labor and then we'll start expanding out on this whole area so this is where the downtown core is going to be we're going to be sorting all of that out in the next video thank you so much for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it we've started the city if you did Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you're looking forward to, to seeing or what you'd like me to build in the city. And don't forget to turn on notifications, share the content, all of that good stuff. It really helps get the channel noticed. Big shout out to all of my patrons and YouTube members for all the extra supports that you continue to choose to show the channel. It is truly, truly appreciated. As we get into the cinematics, I hope you enjoy scenes of this beautiful new city that is shaping up and I shall catch you all in the next one. Cheers, everybody.